Welcome to episode 3 of the video tutorials for EDFD 459, the learning space. In this episode, we're going to look very quickly at how you review and how you reply to Wimber postings. So if you go to the Wimber environment that we're using in the preparatory learning module for our introductory comments, you'll see that there's at least one comment already there posted by myself. You'll see here it says Adam Staples from Adam Staples, and that's basically saying that the title of the message, which is Adam Staples, was posted by Adam Staples. In order to review this message, all you need to do is click on it once so it highlights in blue. Scroll down so you can see the audio functions for this Wimber environment and click the play button. Welcome to EDFT 459, the learning space. And this will play the audio file back to you. You'll remember that we also copied some text into there as well, and you can review this here a little bit further down. If you wish to reply to this message, again make sure you've clicked on it once. Click on reply, which is a little bit above the message. And then you can either reply by text or you can reply by audio. So if you click on the record button, Hi, thank you very much for your message Adam, it was very interesting. You can record your voice, or you can also add text. Once you're happy with your reply, scroll the page down until you see the post button, and then press post. And you'll see that your message has now been added to that Wimber environment. You'll notice on the left hand side of the first message there's a downward facing arrow. If you click on that once, it'll actually collapse all of those messages. So when you see a Wimber environment from now on that has that little arrow there, which is now pointing to the right because we've collapsed all the messages, that signifies that there's another message there or at least one more message. There may be more than one. In order to see those messages, click on the arrow once and it will drop down the replies. You will also see this icon here on the right-hand side of each message. The little dark shape that looks like a speaker notifies that there is actually an audio file message present and then the little box next to it with two small lines in it signifies that there's actually a text message attached to it as well.